Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to download the gritted rainfall data from Indian Meteorological Department or IMD for short and then importing and plotting these rainfall values using QGIS. For that, we need to first download the IMD Pune data sets. So, visit the IMD Pune website. Just Google search IMD Pune. You will see the IMD Pune website. Click on to that. And from here, choose the climate monitoring option. Now, under the climate monitoring option, there is a gridded data archive option. And you can see that there is also rainfall, maximum temperature and minimum temperature under the gridded data archive section. For now, we are focusing on the rainfall data sets. And you can see there are two types basically. Binary file is also there and NetCDF file is there. And you can also see a merged NetCDF file also. To plot this using QGIS, we are interested in the NetCDF type of files. And there are two resolutions available. That is 0.25 degree resolution and 1 degree resolution is available. You can use the data sets according to your research and for now I am just going with 0.25 degree resolution. And these data sets are available for the years from 19 not 1. So if you want to download you can just select the year from this option and just click the download. Now if you are using this data set you should always cite this Pi et al paper from 2014. Now, if you are using the other data set, that is 1 degree resolution rainfall net CDF file, you can see a Rajivan et al. paper from 2018. So, if you are using either of the data set, please refer to or cite these uh, corresponding research papers. So, once the data has been downloaded, we are ready to import that using QGIS. So, to import these net CDF file, we are going to use the layer option from the toolbar. So from this layer option, there is an add layer option. So this add layer enables us to add different types of layer. That is, if you want to add shape file, you can use the add vector layer option. And if you want to add any CSV files, you can use the add delimited text layer option and so on. So, since we have NetCDF file, we should select the Add Raster File option. So, click on to the Add Raster File option. And from here, we are going to select the location and the file. And I have just downloaded the 2023 rainfall 0.25 degree resolution. Open and add and close. Now, Click on to the properties to view what is happening into this layer. So if you see the uh, symbology to be the render type as single band pseudo color, you can see that there are different bands available. So it starts from band 1, 2, 3, 65. This is nothing but the bands for different days of a year. So since we have downloaded for the year 2023, it is not a leap year. So there is 365 days. So this corresponds to day 1, day 2, day 3, etc. Day 365 of the year 2023. So if you just select the day 1 and uh, we can configure the classification properties to be somewhat quantile and apply and then OK. So you can see that the rainfall has occurred only in few locations over. India. In case of rainfall, uh, India has two monsoon seasons. That is, southwest monsoon is there and northwest, northeast monsoon is also there. The southwest starts from uh, June to September and the northeast from October to November. So, if you are choosing the days in any of these, you will see a wider range of rainfall values. So just to just see what is happening, let me take uh, a value 200. So let us take a band 200 and see what is the rainfall values. So I am going to select the band 200 from here. 200, I am going to keep the quantile 
mode classification and apply and okay. So see, this is the variable t in the rainfall for the day 200. So 200 would probably lie in a July month in the non-leap year and also in the leap year. So this is the variability for the year 2023 and the resolution is 0.2 by degree. So this is how we download the IMT grid rainfall data that is typically the NetCDF file and then import it using QGIS and to view the layers. So this is it. Thank you for watching and happy research.